The European Union may impose distinctive labeling of products coming from the West Bank territories, judging that these are illegally occupied. The European Commission and the EU Foreign Service are currently drafting a code of conduct for consumer labors of Israeli settlement products. Britain and Denmark already use these labels, which can help consumers boycott West Bank products. In their mind, it will help human rights, it will help going uh, towards peace process, it will help the Palestinian economy, where in fact it will only do the opposite. 75% of the people working in these factories um, in question are Palestinian, so they will be the first to be hurt. The business exchanges between the EU and Israel have increased significantly over the last decade. In 2011, the EU imported over 12 billion euros of goods from Israel. In spite of the growing exchanges, Europe is a fervent critic of Israeli politics. The EU have condemned Israel uh, on resolutions in the various parliament and in the European Parliament. I think more than any other uh, country in the world, and this is totally disproportionate. And this is what the, the Israeli people hear. They don't hear about all the, the positive technical agreements, uh, economic agreements, etc. Each country has its own uh, foreign policy and, and view towards Israel, and it's also constantly changing. Um, take today countries like Germany, Poland, um, they see also uh, Bulgaria, Romania, they see Israel not only as, you know, in the, in the political uh, context, but in the economic, um, trade context, and, and all the, the added value it can add to, to Europe. Whereas countries um, like uh, Norway, Denmark, Spain, even France, when they look at Israel, they see the, you know, the geopolitical conflict. The EU initiative of product labeling is led by Denmark. Many members of the European Parliament find that complaints about settlement expansion fall on deaf ears, but Israel doesn't agree with the criticism. And it, it blows my mind how, when times like this, when you have things happening uh, in, in, in Egypt, you have the, the, the Muslim Brotherhood uh, coming to power, and you have Syria, a total humanitarian crisis, in Yemen, uh, basically all, all the, the, the Arab region is, is, is bubbling and, and things are happening that are, you know, it's, time will tell if it's, if it's good for the people, if it's good for Europe, if it's good for Israel, but, but keep dealing all the time with the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. At time like this, it's, I, I can't understand it really, it's, it's, it's beyond my, my perception. The members of the European Parliament are divided on the topic. They will discuss the proposals in two weeks in their plenary meeting in Strasbourg. This is Stefan de Vries for JN1 in Brussels.